Hello, all my Not Guilty Adam Super Bowl fans. Stephen R. Adams here giving you play calls for this Super Bowl weekend where we're all celebrating and getting ready for the big day, Super Bowl Sunday. Now, huddle up and listen to the play calls. But first and foremost, I know you're all ready to prepare your Super Bowl menu. You know, like my personal favorite, buffalo chicken dip or guacamole dip or chicken wings with hot sauce. But there's more than just that on Super Bowl Sunday. What else do we got going? Booze, whether it's beer, whether it's wine, or even jello shots or whiskey. Everyone's partying. So you need to beware of the sneaky lurking popo that are going to be out there on Super Bowl Sunday watching all you Super Bowl partiers. Now listen, huddle up. We're going to give you some winning play calls for if you're pulled over by the popo this weekend. But let me first start out with this. Really, on Super Bowl weekend, be wise. Take Uber, take Lyft, or get a designated driver. But if you think you can drink and drive responsibly, then join this huddle because you need to hear these winning play calls. Now, my not guilty fans, you got to understand the attitude of your opposition, the popo. Now, do you think they really want to work on Super Bowl Sunday? Heck no. They're missing the parties. They're missing the hanky pinkies. They're missing the jello shots. They're angry. They're after you. They're after you. So listen up. How do you keep the popo from scoring a touchdown? How do you prevent seven points? Well, this is how. Don't do any chemical tests, no breath tests, no blood tests, and no pee pee popo tests. You can choose to refuse. You have every right to refuse. And remember, the name of the game is evidence. So don't help the government. Don't give them evidence. Choose to refuse. When you choose to refuse a chemical test, a breath, blood, or popo pee pee test, your license will be automatically suspended. But that's okay. You did not give them chemical test evidence and the law offices of Steve Adams can appeal that suspension and get you driving privileges and even get the suspension tossed. So don't give them that chemical test evidence. Now, how do you prevent a popo from scoring a field goal? How do you block that kick? Well, in a world of DUI, the field goal that they're trying to kick and score on you are the three field sobriety tests, the horizontal gaze and nystagmus test, which is an eye test where they take their finger or pen back and forth and up and down, or they have you walk on a line or an imaginary line. Well, imagine that. Or, or they have you try to stand on one leg so you can block that field goal by just choosing to refuse and don't give them that evidence. Now, my not guilty fans, how do you prevent the popo from getting a first down? Well, when they come up to your car and ask you, sir or ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? What do you say? What do you do? Well, you don't want to admit, remember, you want to keep your yapper shut because you don't want to give them incriminating evidence that they're going to use to try to convict you. And you don't want to say no because you're lying because you may have had five drinks and three jello shots and we don't want them to know that either. So what do you do? You say, officer, before I say or do anything, I want to talk to Steve Adams, not guilty Adams. Not guilty fans, welcome to the second half. Now that we know that you have the game plan to not allow the Popo to score a touchdown or to get a field goal or to even get a first down for that matter, and they haven't scored any points, what do we do now? Well, we want to work on scoring points because you just can't win a game when it's 0 0. So, what do you do? Well, number one, be polite. Always be polite. Let the Popo be rude, not you. Now, how else can you score points? When the popo comes up to your window and asks for your license, registration, and proof of insurance, already have all those documents out. So when he comes to the window and he asks for them, you just hand them right to him. 
hand those documents right to him because you do have to identify yourself by at least giving a license and they're going to ask for insurance too. So give them that information and score points. Now, when the popo asks you to get out of your car or exit the vehicle, little do you know they're watching how you exit your car and you must exit because they have a right to investigate and they have a right to check you out for their safety. So you do want to exit the car. So get out of the car and score some more points and just make sure you're walking right and you don't fall over because that would be a problem. Now it's late in the fourth quarter. The game's almost over. You need to finish strong and you don't want to fumble. So the cop is going to place you under arrest because he smells alcohol. You're going down for real, but do so politely. Do not resist arrest. Do not panic. Do not start arguing with the cop. Do not start crying. Keep your yapper shut and don't beg and don't blabber. <laughs> Keep your yapper shut. Let him arrest you and be peaceful about it. Be nice. Now, my not guilty fans, if we're drinking on Super Bowl Sunday, huh, that's okay. A lot of people do it. But remember to drive responsibly. And if you're stopped by the man or arrested by the man, call the man, not guilty Adams. Hey, happy Super Bowl weekend to all you great Ohioans and great Americans. Have fun, be responsible, and remember, if you're stopped by the man, call the man.